Modern humans have evolved by leaps and bounds in the last 200,000 years from their most likely recent common ancestor, Homo erectus. And in just the last 120 years, humanity has progressed from mere prototype airplanes to space venturing rockets and ships. And as time goes by, future technology is gonna get so advanced that traveling to other planets or even distant solar systems and galaxies might become a possibility. And when that becomes a reality, it means that humanity as a civilization has moved way ahead of its ancestors who used mere carriages and boats to travel large distances. So if we are an advanced civilization compared to our ancestors 2000 years ago, where will we be in another 2000 years? Will humans become so advanced that science fiction like time travel and teleportation will be a routine activity? Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. Before we get into the wild stuff, let's quickly go over the civilizations we already know of and what would happen when we reach those milestones. First, we get control of Earth's power. Then we harness the sun's power and start living on other planets. After that, we control the entire galaxy, including black holes and stars. These are the first three types of civilizations and we know this from the Kardashev scale, which helps us measure how much tech power a civilization has. Now, types 4 to 7 are a bit crazy. We'd go from controlling parts of the universe to everything. Imagine being able to create or destroy any universe you want. Plus, time becomes a new plaything. We can mess with it, create different timelines, maybe where you're the president or super buff. In this super advanced civilization, we'd probably meet other species in different universes. We might rule over them, see them as lesser cultures, or just watch them like we do with ants in a zoo. And how would we look? Well, probably not like we do now. We might fuse with artificial intelligence, becoming robo-human hybrids. Or maybe we'd just be balls of energy, zipping around universes. Now, a Type 6 civilization sounds pretty wild, right? Hold on because it gets even crazier. As we progress to a Type 7, things go beyond human understanding. We'd have control over the Omniverse, which is even bigger than the Multiverse. It's got an infinite number of universes, real and made up. Every possible timeline and realities we can't even wrap our heads around. At this point, we'd be beyond worrying about death or suffering. We might exist in constant bliss, knowing everything about the past, present, and future. Sounds cool, but it makes you wonder, would we even want this? Would we still be considered human? We'd be so far from what makes us who we are now. Life in this Type 7 civilization would be all about building new realities and playing God. We'd have everything under control, but what's left for us to do? We've conquered Earth, the Universe, and now the Omniverse. Without challenges, life might get a bit dull. So, as exciting as it sounds, would it be worth it? Maybe going back to when we were just a Type 1 civilization, dealing with simpler stuff, might be more manageable. It sounds like a story for another time. And there you have it, the journey from a world where we're not quite human to a civilization that controls everything, even the unimaginable omniverse. It's been quite the ride, exploring the possibilities of advanced civilizations and the mind-bending concepts of creating and controlling entire realities. As we ponder the prospect of reaching a Type 7 civilization, we're left with questions. Would all this power truly make us happy, or would it take away the very essence of what makes us human? Perhaps, in the end, simplicity and the challenges of a Type 1 civilization might offer a more meaningful and manageable existence. So, whether we're navigating the vastness of the universe or finding joy in the simplicity of our earthly lives, the journey continues. 
Life, in whatever form it takes, is an adventure, one that we'll continue to explore, speculate about, and marvel at in the stories yet to come. Until then, stay curious, and may your journey be filled with wonders both big and small. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Lab360 for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.